The early universe never ceases to amaze us. Just when we thought we knew everything about it, the James Webb Space Telescope surprises us with new revelations. But this time, it shows us small, tiny dots that are not what they seem. In this episode, we'll be discussing a recent study that has challenged our understanding of the universe. The study, which was published this week in the Astrophysical Journal, utilized data from the James Webb Space Telescope to investigate the formation of massive galaxies in the early universe. According to the study, massive galaxies formed much earlier than previously thought. Surprisingly, some of the most massive galaxies in the universe were already in place just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This finding is significant as it challenges our understanding of galaxy formation. Previously, it was believed that massive galaxies formed through a process called hierarchical merging, where smaller galaxies merge together to form larger ones. However, the new study suggests that massive galaxies may have formed through a different process, such as the collapse of large gas clouds, the implications of this finding are still subject to debate, but they could have a major impact on our understanding of the universe's evolution. If massive galaxies formed much earlier than previously thought, it implies that they played a more significant role in the early universe than we had initially assumed. Additionally, the study found evidence of dust production by supernovae in these galaxies, indicating intense episodes of star formation and feedback. These findings suggest that massive galaxies have a crucial role in shaping cosmic history by influencing their surroundings through gravity, radiation, and winds. But how did these cosmic giants grow so fast and furious? How did they make so many stars in such a short time? How did they overcome the obstacles that limit star formation, such as exploding stars or intense radiation? How did they survive the harsh conditions of their surroundings, such as tidal forces or ram pressure? These are some of the mysteries that we will try to solve as we delve deeper into this exciting study and explore how the James Webb Space Telescope is assisting us in rewriting the cosmic history. Imagine being able to travel back in time and witness the birth of the universe. What would you see? How did the first galaxies form and evolve? These are some of the questions that a team of astronomers sought to answer through groundbreaking research utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope. This image was released by NASA on July 11, 2022, and it was one of the first images taken by James Webb after it reached its final orbit and completed its commissioning phase. Known as SMAX 0723, this captivating image showcases a galaxy cluster and its surroundings in near-infrared light. However, what makes this image even more remarkable is that, despite being released almost a year ago, it continues to reveal a wealth of valuable data that scientists and researchers are still diligently studying. A galaxy cluster is a group of hundreds or thousands of galaxies that are bound together by gravity, and they are some of the largest structures in the universe. This particular cluster is located about 4 billion light years away from us, which means that we see it as it was 4 billion years ago. But what makes this image so special is not the cluster itself, but what lies behind it. You see, galaxy clusters are so massive that they can bend the space around them, creating a gravitational lens that magnifies and distorts the light of more distant objects behind them. This effect is called gravitational lensing, and it allows us to see objects that would otherwise be too faint or too small to detect with our telescopes. Based on recent research, astronomers have utilized the gravitational lensing effect in this particular instance to unveil five galaxies. Notably, these galaxies not only exist from an earlier epoch, but also reveal an unprecedented level of mass, surpassing any other galaxies discovered in the early universe. The image also showcased the galaxy's brightness and colors, while the spectra provided insights into their composition and movement. By analyzing both types of data, astronomers have been able to measure the essential properties of these galaxies, including their mass, age, rate of star formation, and dust content. By analyzing their redshifts, it has been determined that these galaxies are approximately 13 billion light-years distant from our vantage point. This means that we see them as they were only 700 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was only 5% of its current age. These galaxies are among the oldest and most distant ever seen by any telescope, 
offering us a glimpse into a very early epoch of galaxy formation. But what truly sets these galaxies apart from any other discovery is their exceptional size. They are huge. According to their brightnesses and colors, which indicate how many stars they contain and how old they are, these galaxies have stellar masses ranging from 10 billion to 100 billion times the mass of our Sun. To put this in perspective, our own galaxy, the Milky Way, has a stellar mass of about 200 billion times the mass of our Sun, but it took much longer to reach this size. These galaxies seem to have grown very fast in a very short time span. So what's wrong with these galaxies being so big and so fast? Well, according to our current understanding of how galaxies form and evolve in the universe, they shouldn't exist at all. Let me explain why. Galaxies are made of stars, gas, and dark matter. Stars form from gas clouds that collapse under their own gravity and ignite nuclear fusion in their cores. Gas clouds come from intergalactic gas that falls into dark matter halos due to gravity. Dark matter halos are clumps of invisible matter that make up most of the mass in the universe and provide the scaffolding for galaxy formation. Now, according to our best models of cosmic history based on observations and simulations, galaxy formation proceeds hierarchically. Small dark matter halos form first from tiny fluctuations in the density of matter after the Big Bang. Then they merge with each other to form larger halos. Then gas falls into these halos and forms stars. Then these stars form small galaxies. Then these small galaxies merge with each other to form larger galaxies. And so on until we get to present day galaxies like ours. This process takes time. A lot of time. In fact, according to these models, it should take at least several billion years for a galaxy to reach a stellar mass of 100 billion times the mass of our Sun. And yet here we have five galaxies that seem to have reached this mass in less than one billion years after the Big Bang. How did they do that? How did they form so many stars so quickly? How did they overcome various physical processes that limit star formation rates, such as feedback from supernova explosions or radiation pressure from massive stars? How did they avoid being disrupted by tidal forces or stripped by ram pressure from their environment? These are some of the questions that puzzle astronomers who study these two massive galaxies. So how can we solve this puzzle? How can we explain these universe breakers without breaking our models of galaxy formation? Well, there are several possible solutions that researchers are exploring right now. Let me tell you about some of them. One solution is that we are underestimating their distances and ages. Maybe these galaxies are not as far away or as old as we think they are. Maybe their redshifts are not accurate because they are affected by gravitational lensing or by peculiar motions within their host clusters. Maybe their ages are not accurate because they have experienced recent bursts of star formation that make them look younger than they really are. If we could measure their distances and ages more precisely using other methods such as spectroscopy or photometry with different filters or wavelengths, we might find out that they are closer and younger than we think they are. Another solution is that we are overestimating their masses. Maybe these galaxies are not as massive as we think they are. Maybe their brightness and colors are not accurate because they are affected by dust extinction or by contamination from foreground sources or by uncertainties in stellar population models. Maybe their masses are not accurate because they have different initial mass functions or metallicity distributions or star formation histories than we assume. If we could measure their masses more precisely using other methods such as dynamical modeling or gravitational lensing analysis or stellar kinematics measurements, we might find out that they are less massive than we think they are. A third solution is that there is something new and unknown going on in the physics of galaxy formation that we need to discover. Maybe these galaxies are telling us something fundamental about how stars form and how gas flows and how dark matter behaves in the early universe. Maybe these galaxies are challenging our assumptions and testing our models and pushing our limits of what we know and what we can learn about cosmic history. These two massive galaxies are just one example of the mysteries that await us to explore. How will these findings change our view of ourselves and our place in the cosmos? Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for watching this video from our series, Rewriting the Cosmic History. If you liked it, 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check the playlist for more content like this. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer them. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious.